So today we continue the work uh, with lawn care. Um, so in my last video, it was all about core plugging and today it's all about overseeding. So um, I have again, uh, spent a couple afternoons, wasn't bad, and got all the core plugging done. In fact, I've still got the plugger on the tractor and um, uh, went by and I picked up my overseed or my seed, not overseed. I picked up the seed. And this right here is a blend of tall fescues and it um, is a type of fescue that tends to try to keep more moisture in the root systems so it is more tolerant to the hot dry summers that we have here so i'm really excited about this product uh, this will be the first time i'm using it so i'm looking forward to getting this down and seeing how it performs and so i'm really hoping this is going to hold up well a lot of the area that i saw you have you see i've got 11 acres that i keep finished and uh there's no way i can water it uh just have to take what we get from rain so anyway this is just one decision hopefully smart decision to uh, combat the fact that I can't water it. So anyway guys, got it all loaded in a bit of tractor. I'm going to head out up to the very front part of my property and start there. So you know me guys, let's get busy. Right, I'm up at the entrance area of my property up near the road and I uh, want to show you guys one of the areas that I have concern or that I'm going to be working on. Uh, I'm going to get the grass spreader all filled up here in a second and again I'm doing this old school. Um, I like doing it this way because I can really control where I'm throwing the seed and I'm going to show you why uh, that I do it this way. So as you can see I've got a fairly nice stand of fescue but I've got thin spots everywhere. Here's one of them. Uh, for some reason, just having a hard time getting this to thicken up. So as you can see, I've really core plugged it good. I've got lots of holes in the ground. And when I'm coming through here, I'm obviously going to go a lot slower and I'm gonna put a whole lot more grass seed through this area. And my goal is to work on thickening up the thin areas as well as thicken up the overall. So anyway, let's get the uh, spreader full of grass and we'll get busy putting this stuff down.
already got the very upper part of my property done and now I'm moving down to, uh, near the creek section. This is really amazing because areas that I have fescue, it is thick as it can be. But then as you can see, I've got all these thin spots. So obviously you're gonna wonder what in the world am I doing? I'm gonna be going very quickly in between uh, the uh, thick areas because I don't really need that much more grass through here and then I'm gonna barely be not doing a probably doing weird patterns because I'm just gonna be walking around and doubling up and just trying to focus on getting it to the thin spots when I came through here with the core plugger I did a whole lot of backing up just going over it going over it going over it getting a lot of holes in the ground so anyway if I look kind of weird with my patterns that's why <laughs> So we are now fast forwarding a couple of days from when I was out doing all of the overseeding, uh, putting down the grass seed. Uh, purposely wanted to do a little bit of wait time and bring you this final part of this video. Uh, the reason being is, uh, one of the biggest reasons that I was pushing to get the core plug aerating done and getting the seed down is that I knew by watching the weather um, we had another system coming through and that we were going to be getting a couple of days of rain and so that worked out just perfect for uh, once we got the seed spread uh, getting the good storms that we got in with uh, a couple of heavy downpours I knew that would work just perfect timing to get the seed set <clears throat> in the holes that we core plugged so I'll show you what I'm talking about so obviously, um, and, and this is one of the areas <clears throat> that we talked about earlier in the video that it's thin, it's down around my trees and I've just got a lot of areas that I'm working on focusing, getting all of my yard thick with fescue like it is all through these areas. And so we're just spot working on, you know, uh, overseeding. I overseeded this area as well, but not near as much is that I did when I put down this area here. So <clears throat> if you remember in the core plugging videos or even in the overseeding, we talked about, I took the core plugger when I was in this area and I backed up a lot and I put a lot of holes in the ground. Now the beauty of the way this works, and obviously when you overseed, you got seeds laying all around this area. And when you get the rain come in or and or the wind, <clears throat> it'll take those seeds and it'll wash it down in these holes. The other thing that happens is the dirt plugs that are up on top, that are laid up on top, they start to decompose. And so what happens is the seeds down in the hole, <clears throat> these dirt plugs will start to un, un, or dissolve and decompose. And then you'll get dirt starts going and filling over the holes. And then you get your, you, you've got heat now, you've got fertilizer, you've got the seed set, you've got it covered in dirt and the sunshine is coming so it's time for uh, the seeds to germinate and here in about two weeks we should start seeing uh, grass starting to pop out of these areas the other thing that happens with core plugging that's really cool <clears throat> is as you drive your lawnmower over top of this <clears throat> and as you continue to get more and more rain this stuff right here just continues to dissolve and it just fills in over the top like this uh, and you know you get these all of these just start dissolving and you just start getting it also helps to smooth out your yard so it's a really cool process the way <clears throat> all of this works and uh I, you know it's not that hard to do don't mind doing it again when we talked about lawn care maintenance and taking your yard to another level it's just a commitment and a process and i know i keep repeating myself but i want to demonstrate that it really is so anyway guys uh a note to <clears throat> keep in mind is we are in kind of holding a holding pattern now of not really being able to do anything else with your yard uh, i mean obviously you can mow it um, but you don't want to put any kind of post emergence once you plant you want to do eight to ten week period of just 
staying away from it with any kind because you don't do anything to harm your new grass seeds that you planted. Uh, I mean, it's almost like treating them like a little baby. You want to take care of them, be easy, and give them time to get a root uh, developed and for them to start coming up and growing. So for me, um, this is perfect timing <clears throat> to get this done in the spring the way we have. Uh, a lot of the weed grasses that we get around here will not start really coming on strong until July and August. And so at that point, we'll come back uh, with the gator, with the sprayer, and we'll, we'll have more videos to be adding uh, about putting down post-emergence and killing out your weeds. So for me now, it's just going to be just mowing uh, and taking care of what I have. And uh, also, another thing that's going to happen in the middle of summer, if you happen to catch my earlier videos, and guys, by the way, I'm gonna, I've got all these in a playlist, uh, and they're all uh, put together under lawn care maintenance. So in, in that video series that's all together, there's also from early in February, we did soil analysis. And the one thing that we found out is that my pH is way off on my yard, and so I need lime. Uh, right now, southern states, uh, the best sourcing for me in my situation, it works out really great. I'm mostly all level through here uh, in the summertime. It's solid. It's easy for them to get in here <clears throat> with their trucks. And so what happened right now, they are all tooled up for doing uh, sp spreading seed. Uh, in July or early August, they will retool their trucks to spread lime. And I'm already got my order in and I'm slated for some time in that time frame. They're going to come out and bring me a full truck load and we're going to just load this all down with lime uh, and get and work on getting my pH right. So for me, between now and July, I'm kind of in a holding pattern. I'll just be mowing. Uh, the way I do is I'll do the patterns as you can see this way. Uh, and then about every third mowing, I will go and you can also see the tracks where I crisscross at 90 degrees and this just helps keep your yard uh, it doesn't let any patterns grow up in your grass to where it keeps it all even and so anyway I'll be in that mode of just maintaining uh, between now and then and then we'll come back um, and start with post emergence and liming in the middle of the summer and then probably we will hit it again hard in the fall I will definitely core plug again uh, I try to do that twice a year. Uh, we'll evaluate and see what kind of shape the grass is in, but I will definitely core plug and fertilize again. So uh, another thing I'll try to do here in a, a few weeks is I'll come back with an update video and we'll remember this one spot for sure uh, of how thin it is and we'll come back and see what it's looking like. Uh, probably about seven to 10 days, we should see grass popping up and uh, I can't wait to see in a couple of months from now how what all this will be looking like. Just hope and pray we don't have a drought like we did last year. <clears throat> hope and pray we uh, will get continued uh, rain from time to time to keep all this watered. This obviously you guys can see I have no way I can keep all of this watered and so I just have to take what comes from nature. <laughs> so anyway um, that's it for now guys so we want to finish up this video. Guys thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, remember I try to do two videos a week here at Project Next. There's always one more uh, and I try to do two videos. Usually uh, have them go live on Mondays and Fridays. So thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this series on lawn care service and really working to take your yard to another level. Uh, I encourage you guys. Uh, uh, I enjoy getting out here and working. Uh, if I've had a long day on the road uh, with work, I love coming home and just getting out in the yard kind of gets my mind off everything. It's kind of a really cool uh, de-stressing for me. Uh, and then on top of that, I love uh, once everything comes out great and really starts greening up, it just uh, blesses my heart when I turn down my driveway and I see all my mowing lines all nice and pretty and straight and my yard all pretty and green. I go, ha, I did that. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. So guys, for now, we're going to finish up. You guys have a great week. Stay safe. Uh, and remember, again, we'll be back here with another one soon. So for now, guys, take care. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.